thank you so much. Thank you, well, thank you. My God. Okay, okay, okay. All right. What a crowd, what a crowd. Now, I tell you, I tell you, I'm all right now, but last week I was in rough shape, you know? Uh, last week I looked up my family tree, two dogs were using it. Oh, what a family I got. They traced my roots back to a cesspool. <laughs> my old man, he was a beauty, my old man. He was a workaholic. Hey, you mentioned work, he got drunk. <laughs> oh, my old man. All his money went on booze. I was six years old. I found out there was no such thing as Alpo baby food. <laughs> I don't know. I tell you, I can't relax, you know. Well, the other day I called up my wife. I said to her, honey, I've been thinking about the last time we had sex. I'm getting excited. She said, who is this? <laughs> my wife. When we got married, she told me I was one in a million. I found out she was right. <laughs> oh, lately she's into S&M, salesmen and mechanics. You know, my wife, there's always something. When I bought a used car, I found her dress in the back seat. <laughs> Are you kidding? I know my wife cheats on me. Every time I come home, the parrot says, quick, out the window. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding? What did I tell you? Hey, all right, all right, okay, all right, all right, okay. Hey, good laugh for there, baby. How you doing, huh? I love a guy with a good laugh. You're all right, buddy. I'll tell you. Where are you from, bud? Toledo. Toledo. Oh, great place, Toledo. Great place, Toledo. Yeah, I got weighed there many times. <laughs> I'm a good mood, though. I'll tell you that. I'm a very good mood. I just finished my first book. Now I'm going to read another one. <laughs> and I solved my drinking problem. I joined Alcoholics Anonymous. I mean, I still drink. I use a different name. That's all, you know? <laughs> Now, I'll tell you what drinking, I gotta watch myself. You go, oh, when I drink the next day, things are always missing, like my teeth. <laughs> I mean, when I drink, I don't know what I'm doing, you know. Sometimes the next day, I wake up in some strange bed with a kid with an accent playing with my feet. <laughs> You've been through that too, huh? I know, that's tough, that's tough, but I know, you know. <laughs> Look at that. And I drink too much, way too much. I gave my doctor a urine specimen, there was an olive in it. <laughs> No, I tell you, you work nightclubs, you can't help but drink. I mean, you work nightclubs, a friend comes over, hey, Rodney, have a drink. Rodney, a drink, a drink. Before you know, an hour later, it's stupid time, you know? And when I drink and my friends take me home, when I'm drunk, they don't care. They never take me home. They always drop me somewhere. They always have to make a turn. Now I make my turn here. You're home, you're home. You walk up 12 blocks, you walk through the park, and you're home, you're home. I mean, I want to want condition them in, they always push me out of the car, you know? Go ahead, push him out, get him out, he's all right. Go ahead, he's big, they think he's a cop. Go ahead, get him out, he's all right. Go ahead, get him out, will you? Well, one night I was loaded, they pushed me in the car. I found myself right in front of a bar. There was a sign on top. It said, inside, 20 exciting girls. I thought, myself, it's not too bad, you know? In my life, I'm lucky to meet one exciting girl a month. I go in here, I'm set for a year and a half. I'll tell you what, bars, I'm never lucky, you know? I saw a sign over one bar, it said topless, bottomless. I went inside, there was no one there. <laughs> oh, one night I was loaded, I went into a gay bar, it was ridiculous. I mean, there was 15 guys for every guy. <laughs> I mean, oh, what a joint that was. You kidding? I walked in, they asked me for proof of sex. I showed them proof, they said it wasn't enough. What a joint. I asked the bartender for a double. He brought out some guy who looked like me. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, me, nothing works out, you know. I decided to look out for number one. I stepped to number two. <laughs> oh, and last week, I joined Gamblers Anonymous. They gave me two to one. I don't make it. <laughs> I mean, and nothing comes easy. I bought a Japanese car. I turned on the radio. I don't understand a word they're saying. <laughs> Well, I mean, if things happened to me, you wouldn't believe. Well, the other night, I found a guy's wallet. Inside was a picture of my two kids. <laughs> and kids, they're no bargain either, you know. I tell you, both of my kids, they're nothing like me, you know. They take after their father. 
Now, I tell you, with kids, nobody wins. Now, for three years now, my kid goes to a private school. He won't tell me where it is. <laughs> I mean, with kids, you can't be nice. My kid's birthday, I took him to Coney Island. I said, you want to go in a crazy house? He told me to save my money, be home soon. <laughs> I mean, a real smart kid I got. The other night I told him, I said, you're young, you don't have it upstairs. He told me I'm old, I don't have it downstairs. <laughs> and what a kid I got. I told him, someday you'll have children of your own. He said, so are you. <laughs> and my daughter too, she's no bargain either. When she's been picked up so many times, she's starting to grow handles. My daughter in her graduation book, her picture is horizontal. <laughs> My daughter, well, she flunked her driver's test and she couldn't get used to the front seat. <laughs> Why, it took six less to get her to sip up in a car, to sit up and I fucked that one up. Let me get along. That's all right, no one's perfect, no one's perfect, okay. My daughter, you kidding? Why, it took six lessons to get her to sit up in a car. My daughter, are you kidding? They call her Federal Express. Yeah, when she goes to a guy's apartment, she absolutely positively has to be there overnight. <laughs> all right, let's get back. Okay, that'll be all right. All right, pops, okay, right, okay, yeah. And I tell you, kids, they got no control today. I mean, they get pregnant from eating chicken. Yeah, it's finger licking good, and one thing leads to another, you know? Can I tell you? Oh, take it easy. We, uh, come on, be nice. We, I'm doing this show straight. No booze, no pot, no coke, no nothing. I'm making it straight, so be nice, okay? What's that, babe? How novel. How novel. <laughs> you should know. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, don't get me wrong, really. I don't snort cocaine. I just like the way it smells, that's all. <laughs> I mean, I kids today, they were the cocaine. Well, in my kids' class, the teacher said, form a double line. They all got high. Nah, I tell you, your kids are wild today. Why, in my kids' high school prom, the king and queen were the same person. <laughs> and kids, they play around so young today. Well, my kid bought a box of Cracker Jacks. The prize was a diaphragm. <laughs> Am I getting too wild for this group? I don't know here. <laughs> oh, I mean, the kids are wild. You can know, talking to my doctor. You know my doctor, Dr. Vinny Boombat. So my doctor, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you kidding? Kids are wild, wild. Well, he told me last week in his office they got six cases of ED. I mean, he's all right now. <laughs> oh, he's a strange doctor, very strange doctor. You kidding? How strange? <laughs> I asked if my heart was strong enough for sex. He told me not if I join in, you know? <laughs> very strange doctor. When you take off all your clothes, he says, ah. <laughs> what a doctor. You could not call him up. I told him I had diarrhea. Put me on hold. <laughs> I mean, he's really mixed up. I told him I keep wetting my pants. He told me to open my fly. <laughs> and my dentist, too, that's another one. I said to him, can you put in a new tooth to match my other teeth? He put in a tooth with four cavities. <laughs> and my dentist, I don't trust him either. He gave me a shot of Novocaine. He told me to pull my pants down. Then <laughs> he told me to need root canal, and he told me to bend over. <laughs> You know, I never had any luck with doctors. We're my proctologist. He's the only one I see eye to eye with, you know? <laughs> my proctologist, he used to be a photographer. <laughs> he took my x-ray, told me to bend over and say cheese. <laughs> proctologist, what a job that is. You, you start at the bottom and you stay there. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what doctors, I never hit it off, you know? I told one doctor, one of a vasectomy. He said, with a face like mine, I don't need it. Are you kidding? I know I'm ugly. I asked a waiter for a doggy bag. He told me to just sit facing the wall. <laughs> I'm ugly. You kidding? Halloween, I open the front door. Kids give me candy. <laughs> I mean, are you kidding? I don't know when you're ugly, all right. I mean, are you kidding? Well, last Halloween, a kid tried to pull my face off. <laughs> and my kids, they flip a coin and say, who has to kiss me goodnight? <laughs> I know I'm ugly, you couldn't afford a gay guy saw me and went straight. I mean, my dog found out we look alike, he killed himself, are you kidding? And I was an ugly kid too, and the merry-go-round that made me ride under the horse. 
Well, my old man took me to the zoo. They thanked him for returning me. Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm very ugly. Because after the doctor cut the cord, he hung himself. <laughs> what a childhood I had. My mother breastfed me through a straw. <clears throat> you kidding? Very ugly, kid. Very ugly. I mean, and nobody was nice. The other kids all made fun of me. Made fun of my cousin, too. They called him Four Eyes. Yeah, later on, they got glasses. Then they called him Eight Eyes. And my old man, he didn't help either, my old man. We used to play tag and hit drive. Come on, move it along. We hit tag and hit drive. Think we are trying to work with here for quite a while, huh? My old man. I told him I'm sick and tired of running around in circles. He got mad. He nailed down my other foot. My old man, he never went out with me. He told me to go in the backyard and play hide and go fuck yourself, you know? Hey, you're all right out there. Put on a drink of water. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, Louis. Who came in? <clears throat> now, I'll tell you, it's nice here, you know. So different the places I worked when I was a kid when I started. Now, when I was a kid, I worked places you wouldn't believe, you know. Where? <laughs> Very inquisitive group here. <laughs> Tough places, places like Carmine's Cave, Teresa's Funhouse, Nunzio's Dancing and Scungeels. What a place that was, Nunzio's. The star of the show was a rabies infected dog act. <laughs> Beverly's Bitches. And what billing I got there. I was running between free parking and pizza by the slice. <laughs> what a place, Nunzio's. As you went to this place, you went down two steps, physically and socially. <laughs> oh, it was a tough place. I sat down to eat. I looked at my finger bowl. There were three fingers in it. <laughs> and Nunzio, he was tough. He was, how tough? <laughs> well, he was two years old. He came here from Italy by himself. <laughs> tough, are you kidding? Nunzio was tough. Are you kidding? Well, Nunzio, he started acupuncture with an ice pick. Every night he'd say the same thing to me, be funny. My people come in to forget their troubles. I mean, how do you make a guy forget he's up for manslaughter? It's rough, you know? And sometimes I think back of the dumpy hotels I stayed at, too. Said at one hotel after a wake-up call, they missed by a day and a half. What a dumpy hotel that was. They stole my towel. <laughs> Are you kidding? What a dumb hotel that was. The hotel had a postcard, and the picture of the room wasn't made up. <laughs> now, I tell you, showbiz, I never had any money. I was always broke. I used to go to orgies to eat the grapes. <laughs> I mean, it's a tough racket, showbiz. As I started in showbiz, I was in ventriloquism. Then I had to quit. I got too big for the guy's lap. I mean, today it's different. Today I finish a show, I sign 30, 40 autographs. Nobody takes them, but I sign them. <laughs> I never got girls, and I was a kid in show business either. One girl told me, come on over, there's nobody home. I went over, there was nobody home. <laughs> I mean, I never got girls, you know. My friends didn't know, though, I fooled them. I used to go to a drive-in movie alone and do push-ups in the back seat of the car. No, I tell you, with girls, I don't think right. One girl told me I got mirrors all over the bedroom. Come on over and bring a bottle. I brought Windex. <laughs> uh, we finally, I tell you, yeah, we finally made love. I said to her, how many guys been before this? She said to me, not enough to make up for this. <laughs> and I tell you, this girl, she was no bargain either. She was fat. <laughs> how fat? Well, she went swimming, she left the ring around the lake. Okay, she's fat, I'm telling you. Fat chick, all right, fat. Very fat. I met her at the Macy's parade, she was wearing ropes. I mean, fat. Well, she tried computer dating, the machine messed her up with Detroit, are you kidding? I mean, I'm talking about a fat girl here, you know what I mean? How fat when she wears high heels, she strikes oil. Okay, you fat chick, I'm telling you. I mean, fat, boy. Well, she wears a watch on both arms. She covers two time zones. <laughs> Fat chick, when she has sex, guys ask directions. And she wanted me on top of how to get a ladder. <laughs> I finally got on top, my ears popped. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'll tell you, this girl. Oh, I'll tell you. That's all right. 
Well, I'll tell you, I tell you, this girl was fat and ugly. Ooh, she ugly. <laughs> How ugly? With Christmas, they hang her and kiss the mistletoe. Okay, ugly, I'm telling you. Well, when she walks in the room, mice jump on chairs. <laughs> ugly chick, I took her to a plastic surgeon. He added a tail. Very ugly girl. And when I took her home, my mother put newspapers on the floor. I mean, ugly, I gave her a hickey, I got fur in my mouth. Are you kidding? Ugly chick, all right? And that's how ugly she was. Ooh. Okay, baby, all right, all right. Hey, Ronnie, how'd you get so ugly? Well, I get so ugly. You're contagious, that's why. Well, it's nice to hear you laugh, though, I'll tell you that, you know. Because where I live, there's no laughs. I live in a tough neighborhood, you kidding? I live in the only neighborhood when you plan your budget, you allow for hold-up money. Well, last night I saw a guy rotating my tires from my car to his. Oh, I tell you, it's getting worse over there. Well, last week a girl got raped. At the police lineup, she picked out everybody. And that was the end of our softball team. I'll tell you one thing, in my neighborhood, the parents always know where their kids are. They see them on the news. <laughs> and my kid goes to the worst school there is. They asked one kid to prove the law of gravity, threw the teacher out the window, you know? <laughs> oh, it's a tough school. And my kid, I'm telling you how tough it is. <laughs> well, my kid's school, you kidding? Before they dissect the frog, they try to make it talk. Are you kidding? <laughs> tough school, I'll tell you. Now, I tell you, my neighbor does crime all over. In fact, I went out and I bought my wife a rape whistle. She says it don't work, no one shows up. <laughs> well, my wife isn't too smart, you know. Our first date, I took her to a drive-in movie. I asked her if she wanted to go in the back seat. She told me she'd rather use a ladies' room. <laughs> what are you, owls? <laughs> nah, she's not smart at all, my wife. Are you kidding? She looked at my calendar. She asked me who June was. <laughs> My wife is dumb, are you kidding? You want to know how dumb she is? I gave her a toy poodle. She killed it putting batteries in it. She's dumb, I tell you. And I caught her in bed with a guy. She told him, pretend you don't know me. My wife is fucking dumb, I tell you. You want to know how fucking dumb she is? It takes her an hour and a half to watch 60 minutes. She's fucking dumb, I tell you. It's tough to work it out here, you know that? Tough to work I tell you, nobody has an easy nobody, you know? Everybody has it tough. Well, hookers are giving away toasters. I tell you, people are nuts. I went to an AA meeting. There was a two-drink minimum. I tell you, you know the greatest trust in the world? Two cannibals having oral sex. What are you, a glee club? I did the same joke for the PTA when over very big. <laughs> I mean, you don't know who to believe anymore. I got stuck last week, too. I bought a book, How to Make It Big. It was all about money. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I mean, nothing works out. I go fishing, I catch nothing. I go to orgies, I catch everything. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, girls, I'm never lucky. You kidding? By the time I was 16, I had sex once and VD twice. <laughs> I had an affair with one girl. I went nuts. I didn't know what to do. I mean, the rabbit didn't die. It just stayed in critical condition, you know? <laughs> now, I'll tell you what, girls, things happen to me you wouldn't believe. I mean, how would you like to go out on a blind date? I mean, you meet the girl, and she's pregnant. <laughs> I mean, what do you say to a girl who's pregnant? You know, what have you been doing lately? <laughs> And she told me she had a fight with her boyfriend. And I told her, you tell your boyfriend the next time you fight, he should knock you down. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, blind dates never work out. I had one blind date. I waited two hours in the corner. A girl walked by. I said, are you Louise? She said, are you Rodney? I said, yeah. She said, I'm not Louise. <laughs> Oh, one time I had a date with an Australian girl. She taught me how to throw my boomerang. <laughs> I got a case of VD that keeps coming back. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, this girl, she really kept me on my toes. And you know me, I love a new position, you know. And, uh, oh, she was a wild girl, a very wild girl. One night in the... 
Who gave you a speaking part here? How wild? One night in a bar, she gave the mechanical bull her phone number. Okay, a wild girl, I'm telling you. And that's enough about girl. Let's talk about health. That's what's important. Health, health. I'm not a kid anymore. You're kidding. I'm getting old. I'm at the age now to eat a daily double as prune juice and an enema. I mean, my teeth are all shot. You kidding? I go to parties. I bob for applesauce. I mean, I'm getting old. My insurance company sent me a half a calendar. That's all right. Now, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, you know when you're getting old. You can not join the class in weightlifting. They started me with balloons. <laughs> Shoot, kidding? Why, if I squeeze into a parking place, I'm sexually satisfied. <laughs> I'll tell you, my sex life is no longer alive. It's Memorex. <laughs> I'll tell you, there's always problems. I can't lose any weight either. I try jogging. I keep running into restaurants. I mean, I'm too old to go jogging. If you see me jogging, it means the laxative is working. <laughs> and last week I went nuts, I tried the fish diet. Seven days, all I had was fish. Ended up, I got a craving for worms. <laughs> I tell you, when you have fish, don't never cook fish in butter, never. Fish should be cooked in its natural oils, you know? Mobile, Sunoco, Texaco, all of that. <laughs> I tell you, that's all right. I'll tell you, you, want to lose weight, have sex. Doctor said when you have sex, you lose 150 calories. I had sex with one girl, lost even more. I lost 150 calories, my watch and my wallet. <laughs> but that's the trouble with people. All they worry about the looks. The looks don't mean nothing. It's underneath what counts. Soul, depth. That's what's important, that looks. Yeah. All right. I mean, how many times you take a walk in the street, you see a tall, handsome man walking arm in arm with a short, fat, ugly girl? I never saw that. Did you ever say I never saw that, you know? I thought I saw that, you know. I don't know. I'll tell you, I meet the wrong people. That's my trouble. Well, last week I met the Surgeon General. He offered me a cigarette. <laughs> that's another one. Stop smoking. That's a beauty. Huh? Stop smoking, though. I'll tell you, with cigarettes, my wife and I, we made a deal. We only smoke after sex. I got the same pack now since 1975. <laughs> what bothers me is my wife. She's up to three packs a day. You kid my wife, all we do is fight about money and sex. I mean, she charges me too much, you know? I'll tell you one thing, when my wife has sex, she screams, especially when I walk in on her. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, I got no sex life. You kid my dog, he's watching me in the bedroom, wants to learn how to beg. My dog, that's another one. He taught my wife to roll over and play dead. Tell you, my dog is lazy, too. He don't chase cars. He sits in the curb and takes down license plate numbers. <laughs> my dog, he's barking at the front door. He don't want to go out. He wants me to leave. <laughs> I mean, that's the story of my life. No respect. I don't get no respect at all. Are you kidding? Nothing. No respect at all. No respect at all from anybody. Are you kidding? No respect at all. Uh, my American Express card left home without me. And yesterday, that was a beauty. My tie was on fire. Some guy tried to put it out with an axe. I tell you, it's not easy being me. I was going to jump off my roof. They called the priest to talk to me. He said, on your mark. I mean, the whole thing goes back to my childhood. Why, on Easter, they gave me chocolate bunnies made of x lax uh, My parents were never nice. When I was six years old, I went through the runaway stage. Every time I turned around, they were gone. My old man, he never liked me. When he took me hunting, he gave me a three-minute head start. And on the way home, he tied me to the fender and put the deer in the car. You kidding? That's all right. What a childhood I had. When I was born, the doctor told my mother I did all I could, but he pulled through anyway, you know? I'll tell you who gets respect, the Italian guys. They get respect, huh? Where are the Italian men here, huh? Oh, yeah? All right, don't start no fucking trouble, all right? Ah, oh, yes, we need Italian men. We need them to make love to our women before we marry them. These Jewish girls in Brooklyn don't fool me. They go with Vinny for four years and marry her if he's a good provider, you know? All oh, the Italian guys, you kidding? I mean, all the Italian guys are all lovers. You're kidding? My wedding night, my wife called me Dominic. I'll tell you, my wife, she never went for me. She was afraid of the dark. She saw me naked. Now she's afraid of the light. I'm kidding my wife. She's an earth sign, I'm a water sign. Together we make mud. 
My wife always gave me trouble. I caught her in bed with the milkman. She made me promise not to tell the butcher. I tell you, get married, look for a good cook. That's what's important, a good cook. I mean, the sex will wear off, but you'll always be hungry, I'll tell you that. You know? and my wife, she can't cook either. You could last on a leftover hamburger. She used it to scrub the sink. You know, she made leg of lamb. I couldn't get past the wool. What a lousy cook. We go on a picnic, I bring Tums for the ants. And after every meal, I hear the same thing. Finish. Oh, Jesus Christ. You love it when a guy screws up. You love it. I show, I show you love it. I know that. And after every meal, I hear the same thing. Finish the food. There were people starving in Europe. I tell her, have sex with me. There were guys who were horning in Canada. You ever come down south? What's that? You ever come down south? Yes. In fact, I've had that experience in many parts of the country. <laughs> From the south, huh, baby? Where you from down south? Uh, Texas. Texas. Oh, forgot for a minute, huh? Real clever fellow. <laughs> Great place, Texas. I met a rich guy here last week from Texas. Oh, rich guy, this guy. He told me in his ranch he has 60 hands working there. All on him. <laughs> wild guy, wild guy, I'll tell you that. How about Pittsburgh? How about Pittsburgh? Goddamn show became a geography lesson here. What's going on, huh? <laughs> Pittsburgh, a great place, Pittsburgh, a great place. I spent... I'm busy over here, huh? <laughs> Who made this an open forum suddenly, huh? How did I get started? I was alone in my room. I was 12 years old and I got started. Yeah. <laughs> that was your story. Yeah. Is there something on your mind or your way of saying you have to urinate? I don't know what it is. <laughs> What's that, babe? What counts in life? Usually an adding machine, I assume. <laughs> Ask me questions I know about, drugs, prostitution, things I'm familiar with. <laughs> Any other questions here? What sign, are you? what sign am I? I was born under for rent. <laughs> Any pets? Any pets? <laughs> Besides her? <laughs> no, I have a dog. His name is Kino. He's a little poodle. He makes me feel like I'm dirty, you know? He jumps in my bed and he smells of a ten minutes before he lays down on it. <laughs> Words of wisdom? Words of wisdom? Yeah. Gee. Yeah. There once was a man from Nantucket. <laughs> I get my philosophies off a of men's room wall. <laughs> What's that, baby? How big's your rod? How big's my rod? <laughs> Don't you remember? <laughs> go, go. Yes, my dear. What is easy money? The way you make it, honey. That's easy money. You know what I mean? You have a question? How about being a movie star? Yeah, I'm in the movies. What the heck? Well, the, the big screen, huh? I'm in the movies. I'm, we'll see what happens there. I don't know. I don't know. Movies are very tedious, you know. You find it hard being in movies? <laughs> if I did, I'd stay in movies all the time. <laughs> what time does the show start? What time does the show start? <laughs> Oh, boy. Now I know why tigers eat their young. It's a good thing you're wearing a mustache. It breaks up the monotony of your face. No offense. What am I going on a diet? Thanks. I have been in therapy, yes. I've been through 48 Austrians. <laughs> and the last guy I saw, I told him I had suicidal tendencies. He told me, from now on, I have to pay in advance. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, all right. What?
Don't you hate a pushy dyke? Hey, do you hear about the Polish lesbian? Only makes it with guys? How's your sex life? How's my sex life? Why don't you ask four members of your immediate family? Why don't you ask me something personal? My sex life, you kidding? My sex life. My sex life's like shooting pool with a rope. I'll tell you, the first time I had sex, it was great. Ooh, the first time I had sex was a beautiful experience, wonderful. You know, I only wish there'd been someone there to enjoy it with me, you know, that's all. <laughs> ah, but everybody's looking for love, deep love, a lifetime of deep love. I'm looking for a shallow half hour. <laughs> Everyone tells me I look for love in the wrong places. I look in one place, that's all. <laughs> what place is that? What place is that where your hand is? So I'll tell you, the whole thing is if someone turns you on, right? You look at someone, they turn you on, they go through all kinds of bullshit. Take all kinds of, if they turn you on, you take a lot of bullshit, baby. This guy goes out with a beautiful chick, he goes into ether. He looks at a beautiful face, she can say dumb things, he thinks she's brilliant, you know. Let's have a bite to eat. Look how hip she is, she knew, she was hungry, she's too much, she's wild. <laughs> but if a chick don't turn you on, forget about it. Let's have a bite to eat, what the fuck, you hungry again, eh? <laughs> Well, that's it. I'm at the end of the line. I'm just hanging around now, waiting for my lift home. My car broke down again. I got a car, I got nothing but trouble. I got the only car, dogs chase it and catch it, you know? <laughs> and these guys who fix cars, gotta watch them too, you know? I went in one place, they gotta give me an estimate for $100. I got the bill, it was $200. I said to him, how about the estimate for $100? He says, you're right, I forgot, that makes it $300. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, though, with my car, it's always easy for me to find it, you know? It's always on a lift. <laughs> I'm always watching it going up and down and up and down. I got the only car that has more miles on it vertically than horizontally. <laughs> now, I'll tell you anything with cars, I'm unlucky, always unlucky with cars. No matter what lane I'm in, it always ends in 500 feet, you know? <laughs> my wife, she don't help either. The other day she took the car, she got 60 dents in it. She took a shortcut through a driving range. Oh, my wife took a driver's test, she was happy. She got 18 out of 20. Yeah, two guys jumped out of the way. <laughs> I mean, she can't drive at all. Well, last night she came home, she got a nail and a spare. <laughs> all right. Oh, I'll tell you, my wife, you, my wife with the car, she keeps me broke. You kidding? Who tips at a toll booth? My wife's got it too good. We got married, we were poor, she was better off, you know. How poor? How poor? When she was pregnant, she had to hold it in for two years, okay? We're poor, I tell you. I mean, poor. Well, we met at a singles bus stop. What, do you want to fight? I'll give you one more chance. We were so poor in my neighborhood, the rainbow was in black and white. Christmas, we decorated a stump. <laughs> oh, there's my ride. I gotta go now. Okay, I'll see you around now. <laughs> now. I'll tell you one thing, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you like other acts. They go, oh, what a great audience. My favorite audience in the whole world. You're the greatest, great bullshit. I can't wait to get the fuck out of here, okay? <laughs> I'll see you, huh? I tell you, I'm all right now, but last week I was in rough shape. Well, I don't get a break with nothing. I played hide and seek when I was three. No respect, no respect. Why they wouldn't even look for me? No respect, no respect. I was an ugly kid, I never had fun. No respect, no respect. They took me to a dog show and I won. No respect, no respect. When I was born, I brought no joy. No respect, no respect. My old man said he wanted a boy No respect, no respect I was an ugly kid, always alone No respect, no respect 
Halloween, I had a trick or treat over the phone. No respect, no respect. Friends don't call, my phone don't ring. I don't get a break with anything. What's the matter, Rodney? Ah, uh, death, where is my sting? It's just rapping Rodney. Ain't that your type? No, no. Rapping Rodney. Get out of sight. It's just rapping Rodney. Make no mistake, poor old rapping Rodney. Can't get a break. I'm getting old, it's hard to face No respect, no respect But during sex I lose my place No respect, no respect Steak and sex, my favorite pair No respect, no respect I have them both the same way, very rare No respect, no respect I know I'm old, I could go any minute No respect, no respect I got a kidney-shaped pool with a stone in it No respect, no respect Dr. Vinnie Boombox, that's another one No respect, no respect I said I want to stop aging, he gave me a gun No respect, no respect I told him I got water on the knee He gave me a sponge and raised his fee What's the matter, Rodney? Ah, oh, it ain't easy being me It's just rapping Rodney Ain't rap too tight, no, no Rapping Rodney Get out of sight, it's just rapping Rodney Make no mistake, poor old Now give me a break. Play something from the 40s. Oh, the now what kind of music is this? Now how about Stardust? Hey, what are you doing? That's not Stardust. Listen to this, will you? I mean, where are the flutes? What a band. Hey, don't quit your day jobs. Look at this. The drummer carries the melody. I just can't fight it. No respect, no respect. My Eastern Airlines thank me for flying United. No respect, no respect. I got some money, what did I do? No respect, no respect. I bought some quicksand, the deal fell through. No respect, no respect. My car broke down, I called AAA. No respect, no respect. They left the car and towed me away. No respect, no respect. I can't take it no more, I'm getting too old. No respect. No respect. I called suicide prevention, they put me on hold. No respect, no respect. Winter, summer, spring and fall. I'm always up against the wall. What's the matter, Rodney? Uh, I don't get no respect at all. It's just rapping Rodney. Ain't that too tight? No, no. Rapping Rodney. Get out of sight. It's just rapping Rodney. Make no mistake for old rapping Rodney. Getting worse, it's caving in. The heaviness, I can't take it no more. It's all over. Now, where are my kids? Somebody help me. Hey, bartender. Hey, who's that guy with my daughter? Where's my wallet? How do I get out of here?